All right, back to another project. Working with a 79 Chevy, good old station wagon. Pulling the 305 out. We're gonna put the good 406 in it. Out of uh, another vehicle, healthy motor. I'm modify a few things in it. Good little project. Interior is actually moderately really nice in this thing. And uh, here's our motor cavity. We're going to, I'm sure, delete quite a few things. AC, smog, etc. Wiring, BS. Hey! Stop with your etc. You back on your computer. It actually doesn't do the work. You get, up, do the get work. up out of my video before I make you get your hands dirty. Oh, Put some it. lube up on them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway. Yeah. Here's where we start. We'll go ahead and pause this. We'll resume after we get some uh, stuff on the road here. Back on our 79 Malibu. Getting the motor removed. Bell housing's ready. Torque converter's undone. Cut the exhaust off because we are replacing it with duals. No phone calls during video, sir. <laughs> Hello. Uh, here you go. What's up, Mr. Jerry? I will go ahead and keep it uh, filming. Oh, not too bad. You? All right, back on our 79 Malibu station wagon. We got a little man over here, my mini minion, working on uh, pressure washing, cleaning everything up. We're going to clean all this up to the best of our abilities. And, uh, yeah, we're keeping the AC, that's what that is, hanging by the bungee there, all ghetto fabulous. So we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and let some of this dry up, spray it out with water, clean everything up. We're going to give it a couple rattle cans, nothing too fancy, but uh, I ain't tearing it apart. If I can't put it back together clean, would you take a shower and put on dirty underwear? No, you wouldn't. Thank you. That's right. Take that advice. Take it. All right, this right here, this right here, smile at him. Say hi, I'm Mini Bob the Builder, and I'm building uh, badass Bob rides. Building badass, builder. building badass rides at like 12. Yeah. Uh, we got him doing the work. We're letting him loose. Masking off a bunch. Don't mind the mess. He's over here doing it. Alright, back to the uh, 1970 Impala. Uh, Unsuper Sport. <laughs> Sorry, my lack of humor. I'm tired. <laughs> Working my butt off. Anyway, we got a built 406 Chevy. Right there. Nice little transmission. We got her out of the uh, Donk Project. Wheels are bigger than the motor. We empty. I clean all this back up. Drop a LS2 in it. Six liter Chevy. Be a good little combination. But there you go. And uh, there you go. All right, our '79 Malibu station wagon project. It's got the 406. All uh, pressure washed up. We're gonna go ahead and. Um, Get it ready to drop in. I gotta remove the tranny out of uh, this one first. It is nothing. After we get it in, I did pressure wash it like I just said. So we're gonna go ahead and change up the oil, oil filter. Make sure there ain't no water in it. Fresh everything, fresh fluids. And uh, I'll keep coming. All right, back at it. The part I kind of dread. I say I live for it, but I'm lying. <laughs> All right, long story short, we ran into some problems. We got uh, header issues. Here's one of them. I just moved the gas vape line and the brake line away from the header manifold. We're pretty dang close right there, clearance. This one, I actually have to drop the starter on. I had a problem with this header fitting as well. These headers are out of a 70 Impala, but I did make them work. Everything else is pretty much getting hooked up, looking good again. And one more issue. 
is right here. Our drive line is four inches too long. The drive line that came out of the Impala has a different tail to it, which I won't be able to use. So this is the factory drive line before the swap that was in this 79 Chevy Malibu. I've already taken and marked. You don't want to cut. I know I do my own, and I just kind of cross my fingers if they're going to be balanced right or not. I'm normally pretty good at it. I try to line all this back up in the same position. I mark it there to there so we know exactly where it came off. And then any of these balancing weights, for example, the back has one and the front has one. I normally cut this with a die grinder right on the weld. Inside of that, this has a sleeve that slides right in. So, for instance, if I take my four inches off right here and square cut right there, I put it on jack stand so I can literally get the perfect cut on it and just rotate the drive line. After this is cut and this is cut, we can then put this piece back in, but keep in mind the rotation of this needs to be what it was before it came apart. So, there you go. Add four inches, don't take it off. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> I'm four inches shy. Don't tell nobody. You be good. <laughs> Shush. I'm deleting that out of my video. Ha! Hey! Quiet over there, Peanut Gallery. I'm not. All right, back on this 79 Malibu here. We are uh, setting up dual exhaust. As you can see... It's not complete. Might be a little loud right there. <laughs> no, but uh, we're good to go. I just notched the hell out of the uh, cross member for the tranny mount. I did have to shorten the drive line by four inches. Cut it right off on the sleeve, spun it around, kept it square. Rewelded it back on four inches. Uh, and another thing to notice, adjustment. Kind of look at your wear marks if it wants to help you out a little bit there. So. You got leeway for the rear end to move up and down. That thing moves in and out. But uh, yeah, there's our header. We're uh, getting rid of our collector gaskets. We're going direct weld to them. And yes, that means if it needs uh, replaced, it gets rewelded. But here be our uh, frame knot, or not frame, our cross member notch to allow the room. We're gonna tuck it in here. Go next to the drive line just like that side and then start working our way out and then out our tail shaft uh, just behind the rear wheels. And uh, I'll go ahead and keep this filming. Let me get a little more done. A little bit of patience like we fishing. Here we are, here we are. Exhaust uh, 40 series flow masters, two and a half inch pipe, the good stuff. Generic bender and a couple hours, a lot of duct tape, <laughs> bubble gum to fill them cracks. No, uh, just weld it up, do the best you can. Nothing too crazy, spectacular, actually looks uh, semi fair. Got our tips pretty even. This is actually some uh, parts off another vehicle. Uh, we just used what we had, bent a few things, put it all together, and uh, there it be. All right, back at it. It's got a heartbeat now. Heartbeat America, Chevy, Chevrolet. <laughs> anyway, 79 Malibu Station Wagon Project. We got a lot to go. But uh, the exhaust is obviously leaking. We got a bad gasket, not a big deal. Sounds great, really does. Oh, yeah, heartbeat just died. Somebody give this mofo CPR. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pause this, figure it out. All right, be back. <laughs> 